Welcome back to Peace, Love and Tarot. This reading is for Leo, Sun, Moon or Rising. And Leo, this is your weekly intuitive tarot reading for February 3rd to the 9th. This week, Leo, you have the Keepers of the Earth Oracle card. We have the Ten of Wands, Five of Cups, Temperance, Queen of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords and the massive world energy here. So yeah, I, look up to say, I really have a strong sense, Leo, that some of you are lamenting the past, um, potentially because there was some form of betrayal. Some of you have been maybe hurt by somebody, deceived by somebody, um, something kind of went on that has, has kept you stuck in that state of sadness. Um, however, when we're stuck in a state of sadness, we miss opportunities and our energy gets stuck and you're really being asked to put a firm sense of closure on that situation now you know that that situation has ended you've got the learning that you needed to and it's time to to heal yourself to recalibrate to get grounded and stable and nurture yourself again and that's when you know things start to shift and the opportunities that are meant to can come in once you clear that energetic space so let's start off with the oracle card and then we'll unpack the tarot we have keepers of the earth you are not alone ancient ancestors stand beside you you are so supported. You do not stand alone. You have a magnificent team of helpers, both in this world and of the earth, who are here to help you every step of the way. Call upon them for assistance. They are here to help. The keepers of the earth acknowledge the work that you have already done, and the work and ready to and are ready to work through you. They bow at your feet and thank you for wanting to stand for them, to devote your life to protecting the earth in your unique way. Yeah, it's definitely a reminder that whatever you're going through and whatever residual, you know, grief or sadness might be um, associated with whatever was lost in this situation, that that you aren't alone. You know, we have, you know, angelic forces in this reading. Um, some of you, you know, may be connected with your angels, spirits and guides, but if you're not, all you need to do is ask. And, you know, if you don't believe in that, then reach out to your network, to your families and friends, because I'm sure there are people around. And it's saying at this time, you might need a little bit of the extra support to, to make this final release, to purge this situation. Because in your recent past, we see the Five of Cups and the Seven of Swords. So, now that, that, that sneaky little Seven of Swords, I saw that... Um, in the pre-shuffle it kind of jumped out in a, in a stack of cards and when the stacks of cards come out I put them back in but yeah lo and behold it, it came out when I was um, allowing the cards to fall for you so it really did want to be seen now I really feel that there was some kind of betrayal some kind of deceit that went on now there are lots of levels to the seven of swords it doesn't have to be something big like you know adultery someone cheating um, someone stealing from you or taking from you but it can be, and it, but it can also be to somebody who undermines you, who treats you, you know, doesn't treat you so well, that maybe communicates with you harshly, that just doesn't respect you. Yeah, there's lots of different levels to that, so you'll know what that is for you. But whatever it was, it must have been fairly significant for you or hurt you in some way, because we see you here in the recent past in Five of Cups energy, and Five of Cups shows somebody who hasn't been able to move on from a situation and is still replaying it, still reliving it, and still lamenting the past. The thing is, Leo, these cups here have overturned and that, you know, water, wine, whatever is in them, has soaked into the earth and gone. There's no way to rectify what happened. You can't take back the past. And, you know, there's also a, a big message here that just, um, just came to me is that you know, being stuck in the past is the thief of the present, right? And that's why, you know, when we're stuck in the past, we miss the opportunities that are right behind us. So if this wasn't a, you know, betrayal or deceit, it could have just been a past loss. And I'm, I, you know, really sensing that there was some kind of ending there with that Ten of Wands. So whatever was lost, you know, it is time to release that because that is your thief of the present moment and it is stopping you from seeing the opportunities that are right there. It's really time for you to, uh, you know, put your head up and see that all the time there has been a bridge over your troubled emotional waters back to your sanctuary, back to your home, back to your higher self, to your heart space. And it's time to release this cloak of negativity or depression, sadness, grief, despair, whatever it is for you. Yeah, 
quite a heavy energy guys I'm really feeling that and um, I feel like this ten of wands is you know has a, has a couple of different meanings I think that um, this indicates that there was some kind of loss or completion that put you into the state of being there's that but also it shows me the heaviness the weight the burden of the situation weighing on you it's like you know carrying around a stack of wands everywhere you go from work to home you know for every day you know holding this weight is hard work and that can make you feel defeated and that can drain your, your immunity your energy reserves as well some of you may be experiencing fatigue even adrenal chronic fatigue with this combination of cards here and again we see that by carrying a weight a burden and focusing on it we're clouding our vision and when that vision is cloud, clouded of course you don't see those opportunities that are there so if you can release that weight if you can just reach a place of acceptance that the past is the past you cannot change it so there's no point focusing on it Leo then you can put down this heavy load and once that load is down you know you'll be able to see that maybe there were other pathways other opportunities all along but you just couldn't see them all you could do was follow a well-worn path be on autopilot do what you, you you know what you already knew because you didn't have any um, headspace or vision for you know anything that was you know off the beaten track time to put them down it's number 10 it is a completion i think we're dealing with um grief about a loss or a completion but it's time to to complete that if you know what I mean because we've got the world card here and the world card is that huge indicator that this situation needs to be put in the past and that door firmly closed the world is the last card in the tarot deck and it says that you have arrived and it is a card of victory so it's highly likely that there was a karmic contract or a life lesson that needed to be learned in this situation but Leo I get the sense that some of you um, have stayed attached to it energetically past the time that the lesson was learned and that's when we can risk getting um, into a stuck or stagnant energy um, or we can just stay you know wallowing in that in that grief of the situation and we're not moving on so you're really being asked to leave this in the past and move on now and that's what this dancer does she jumps straight through that Saturnian hoop into her next chapter she has that sense of being breezy and flowing with life and accepting the hardships and the challenges and acknowledging that yes they might be difficult but you know we need to keep moving we need to keep flowing um she says that what the magician as the first card of the tarot set out to manifest has materialized in the physical world and completed so at this at some point this may have been a situation that you actually manifested willed into an into existence because there was a life lesson to be learned from it so sometimes you know we are actually the creator of that so that we can learn the lesson but it's done now and it's really time to complete it the world card does talk about completion of karmic contracts and there may be a recalibration or healing period that is required i mean this invitation for from this you know divine being here of these two cups to use to rebalance the waters of life has been there for a while it's been nudging you but I don't think that you've seen it you're being invited to take those cups and to do some internal alchemy to you know heal yourself to to rebalance yourself emotionally to get back into a place where you can be stable and secure now this angel here has got one foot on the ground and one foot on in the emotional waters so it means that you know you will be able to stay grounded go about your earthly business your job childcare study all those sorts of things while you're going through this process it's not going to be as intense as what you've experienced in the past you're, you're past the worst of it you're over the biggest hurdle now it's all about just you know just getting back into the flow of life again and as you do that as you heal as you rebalance the sun here is rising on the horizon and as it rises the pathway forward is illuminated so you will find your new beginning you'll find those new pathways they were just hidden hidden in the darkness hidden behind the burdens yeah um, with temperance I also talk about the, the triangle here and the fact that it's the most stable structure and for me the three sides of the triangle represent our physical emotional and mental well-being so some of you may need to 
focus on either one or all of those areas and bring them back into alignment and when they are that's when you become stable because you can push on any side of that structure and it's not going to collapse yeah so there is an, an element of divine protection as well it is your time to to really go deep and 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 you know release the situation for good and then another near future card, we have the Queen of Pentacles here. Now for me, this is, um, you know, I know this is an earth sign energy, but for me, this still indicates the energy that you're going to be moving into after this process. Now the Queen of Pentacles is so grounded, compassionate. She is highly successful and abundant. She's the kind of person that can go out, bring home, you know, a great income, then come into the home and be the nurturer and, you know, the provider and um, look after the children all of it she can do everything maybe this situation of being stuck in the past has stopped you being able to reach your full potential well it's coming back Leo and the reminder with the Queen of Pentacles is it just is going to take some focus but not the focus on the past focusing on the present moment staying present Staying present and having gratitude for the gifts that you do have in your life at the moment is the antidote for slipping back into that past lamenting. Yeah, and the Queen of Pentacles is saying that through that process, you're going to become so much more grounded and earthed and so much more stable and secure. And from that place, that's when this Ace of Pentacles that she is holding is going to be able to expand and grow like the seed it truly is. So it's a beautiful reading, Leo. You know, there is something to release here, but the promises are great if you can do so. So I wish you all the best with it this week. And do keep in mind it's a general reading. It won't be for every one of you guys. Feel free to leave me a comment because I always love to know how it's playing out in your daily life. And I'll see you back here next week for another reading.